What is good, everybody, and uh, welcome to Straight Up Tennessee. I know you see the refresh. Yeah, the ooh, boys came ooh. correct because we ooh. were just like, man, it's volume two. We know, man, there's so many things that we have coming down the pipe, man. Tennessee plays football tomorrow, y'all. Tomorrow. 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 One, more day. one more day. This is the one more day episode. Turner, you ready? Hey, I'm ready. Hey, let's go. go. day man one more day bro one I'm, more day until we I'm get up. down there hey bro i'm gonna tell you this man when tennessee the athletic department started releasing all the stuff about those oh. ticket packages to go dude i was i know you and i both were hungry to get to this one but mm -hmm. we can't go to this one y'all so we're gonna be watching it just like y'all on tv at 11 a.m central uh 12 eastern mm-hmm Tennessee's got an opportunity, man. Like, like Tennessee's got an opportunity it's a, to handle I mean, some business, bro. Let's be honest. It's, I think we take care of business, bro. I'm not. You texted me earlier, bro, and asked me if I was nervous. I'm not even nervous, and I don't know why. That's not. That's not like me. I know. I know. We'll see what it's and, like in the morning, though. Right. And when I asked you, man, I was just because, dude. I'm just okay. Like. I, I'm sitting at home. I work from home and I mean, I'm literally on my laptop working and my TV is is more than likely on a Tennessee versus whoever we're playing type four minute ESPN segment, <laughs> Paul Feinbaum, whatever. And uh, dude, I'm just hearing it all day. Like, what are they saying Tennessee has to do? What are they saying? They got to do this. We got to do this. Yada, yada, yada. And dude, when you hear it so much throughout the day, it makes you a little easier to like be like i'm kind of nervous yeah but but yeah the the closer this thing gets bro like i woke up this morning and i was just like yeah yeah, yeah we finna <laughs> we finna do something crazy so i mean there's a lot of things to look forward to i mean there's a lot of things as well to that Tennessee, I feel like, has to do to be successful, man. And I think that first thing is if you can stop and we can protect Hendon and we can yeah. run the football, bro, I, I, I don't think they have a shot. I mean, at all. No, I don't either. I'm and, you. I mean, if, if, we can, if we can run the football, they don't have a shot. Oh, 1,000%. They don't let him football. Yeah, don't let Hendo get cooking because it's a wrap. It's over. <laughs> I what I tell you, he needs that one run, and then he's good. He's good, bro. One run, and he is good. Man, there's just been a lot of good hype around this game. And um, with it finally being here, not only does it feel good, but I just think, man, I just still, to this, to this at this moment, Friday, I just think Tennessee – has a little too much. Like, there's talent on that LSU roster. Do not get oh, yeah. me wrong. There is mm -hmm. crazy talent. But I just think we're better. And um, I watched a great segment yesterday, man, with Eric Kane and all the locked on uh, people from LSU. I think her name was yeah. Caroline Fenton and then Chris Gordy from Locked On SEC. Mm -hmm. And it was a great segment, man. And even she, she's over the Locked On LSU podcast, and she said, I just think Tennessee is just a little ahead, a little bit more yeah. ahead than, than they are. And it's true. And I, I think that starts with Hendon Hooker. It starts with this offense. And uh, big news, man, big news uh, for volunteer fans. D. Williams will make his debut against LSU Turner, what are you thinking, bro? Like, what what do you think about this D. Williams news? Like, is he a playmaker? Is he gonna change it? Like, it's his first game. Like, what are you what are you thinking? 
the hype's there. I mean, everybody's talking about it right now. D. Williams, D. Williams, D. Williams. And, I mean, I don't mean to sound harsh, but he ain't got to be much better, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I mean, I'm not just being honest. You know, Warren Burrell didn't show me anything. Christian Charles, uh, hit or miss. You know, I think the most consistent player we've had at corner is Kamal Haddon, and his numbers have showed that. But I'm excited about D. Williams. I think he might be the key component that we're missing on the defense, if we're being honest. I agree with you. I, I think that what excites me about D. Williams is he wasn't the number one junior college defensive back for no reason, and neither was Kamal Haddon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, Kamal Haddon is a dog, and yes, he got a little bit exposed against Florida, but I think our whole defensive secondary did simply because of the game plan. We weren't coming yeah. after Richardson. We weren't getting pressure on Richardson. We were, but not like we did Pittsburgh. And so I think that's no. the key, man. We got to send people and just honestly just be reckless, man. Like high risk, high reward. If we if we get back there and uh, we give up, we give 10 yards up, I don't care. Well, and you see that's – you just said it high risk, high reward. I, that's that's our that's our identity, and you see it if you think about it. Think late in that Florida game, we got away from our identity towards the end of the game. We start pre we start dropping everybody in coverage. Yeah. And here Florida goes just driving down the field, driving down the field, driving down the field, coming back. I think, like you said, we got to stick to our identity on defense: high risk, high reward. We're yeah. gonna get a big plays. Part of it. Yep. And I, I think, too, man, I heard a great thing yesterday as well on Josh and Swain. It, kind of the same situation. A, a fan put in the text box and asked, hey, is D. Williams the guy you put on, you know, LSU's best receiver? Mm -hmm. And Jason Swain responded and was like, you know, we don't know much about D. Williams yet. Like, mm -mm. I, I mean, yes, we're excited, I, and we hope that he comes out and is just nasty. However, like, we just don't know what who he is and what he's going to bring. Um, yeah. He said, if I'm putting anybody on their best receiver, it's Kamal Haddon. Yeah. He's like, and I just don't think right now LSU has that guy that we have to put our best corner on and say, if he goes to the bathroom, you follow him. You know? Yeah. I mean, you you also got to think about D. Williams too. Like, is he going to return punts? He might, because I know he was because, early up, early on in special teams. His name yeah. was listed, right? He's he's behind Trey Flowers. Yeah. So I mean, you know, he could be a game breaker there. You never know. Yeah, I mean, you know, you never know, man. You never know. So, um. Again, man, hey, whatever you guys are doing, man, go ahead right now, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you just came across this on Instagram, if you just came across this, typing in Tennessee things on YouTube, man, we're glad you're here. Welcome to Straight Up Tennessee. Welcome to the fam. Um, it's your boy, Ruck. It's my man, Turner, man. We are just two dudes from Knoxville, Tennessee, who simply love the Vols. No, no media experience. Like we don't do any of that, man. We just fans and we love Tennessee just like you do. And so throughout this whole volume two, I mean, go back and listen to volume one. We were just getting started. Volume two, man, we're coming back better and bigger. We've got guests coming on next week. Y'all listen, uh, we got a, a great friend in Stephen Cauley, diehard Alabama fan. Um, has grown up in Alabama his entire life and uh, a great friend of mine, man. But he also knows how important this game used to be for these yep. two programs. And it's kind of just shifted a little bit. Um, but just get ready, man. Um, that'll be Monday or Tuesday show. Um, one of the two. We don't know which day we're going to drop that thing, but it's going to be amazing. Uh, but, man, like, comment, subscribe. Because you already know what it is. It's straight up Tennessee, baby. But, uh, yeah, man. So, I don't know. How you feeling? Like, I, I know you said you weren't nervous. But for real, for real. Like, you think about this game. 
when you wake up on Saturday and you fire that smoker, boy, you when you wake up tomorrow, you fire up them ribs. Yeah, we've been talking about them ribs. <laughs> like, how you actually gonna feel? Man, I, I always, I mean, I always get nervous. I mean, don't get me wrong, but you know, man, I feel good about this game for some reason. I mean. I think the crowd noise will be there. I mean, even though it is an 11 o'clock kickoff, noon kickoff for some yeah. people, I mean, it's sold out. I seen something today. <laughs> Gates open at nine, beer sales start at nine. <laughs> 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 and I mean, we both know Ooh. how people Ooh. can get, you know, it don't matter what time of day it is for some people. You know, and that, I think it's gonna be loud. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be loud, and you know, I think Josh Hoppel said it in his press conference today. They've been practicing the crowd noise. Yeah. You know, because I mean, Pitt was loud, but Pitt ain't no Baton Rouge. Pitt ain't LSU. No, sir. So we've never like, like they explained it this way, and I really did enjoy the way they explained it. They was like, Pitt is like pro noise. Like NFL stadiums yeah. aren't aren't. Yeah massive and and you know it's just but, it's a, uh, yeah di different type of atmosphere i mean we're used to the we're used to the loud noise but we're used to it being on our side if that makes sense right but i think again man this is another win in my opinion because of tennessee's offense bro and because of the tempo like we're not if we're locked in and literally hitting on all cylinders, they ain't gonna have mm. time to be. They ain't gonna have time to get rowdy. Yep. It's when they get us in third and five, six, when we do the little, and then we look to the sideline, and Hendon is yeah. like, "Hold on, hold on." It's that's when I'm like, "Okay, yeah. that's when it'll get louder," and I'm fine with that. I mean, yep. I just, I, I mean, prove me wrong, but ain't nothing louder, bro, than Neyland Stadium. No. Like, I'm sure it's going to be loud. Like, don't hear me say this, LSU fans. Don't hear me say, like, oh, it's not going to be loud. Like, no, it's going to be loud. I mean, I just looked this up. LSU Tiger Stadium can sit 102,321 people. And it's sold out. It's going to be loud. But it's at the same loud. time, it's something about the way – it's something about the way that thing is built, like kneeling or something, man. Yep. So – um, I didn't. Did you know D. Williams led JUCO last year in interceptions? I'm telling you, he did, bro. He did not do. He was the number one defensive back coming out, bro. Like there was no like when we got D. Williams. I remember telling you this past summer, I was like, dude, he is a ball hawk. Yeah. So had, it's like he had seven, seven interceptions last year, and he ranked second nationally with 14 pass breakups. Dude, he can if he comes in and makes an instant impact, bro. Mm -hmm. If he comes in and plays like that tomorrow, it's yeah. over with. Now here's 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 your question. Do you think uh Charles gets the start first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I, I think the I think they roll out the same squad. I think it's Trey and Jalen in the back end. And then you're going to end up having uh, Kamal and Christian Charles. And then basically after that, like I told you, I think when we go five defensive backs or six DBs, D. Williams yeah. is going to get his first clock there. And yeah. then depending on what he does with that that rep, that's when I that's what I think he'll yeah. he'll he'll make he might solidify himself. Who knows? Yeah, I'm with you on that. So. Um, I do think he's going to make an impact, and I hope he does, man. Like, I don't want him to just come in and make an impact. Like, I want him to be known after tomorrow. Like, D. Williams changed everything for Tennessee, you know? Like Kamal Haddon did. His yeah, time. it'd be huge. I mean, it yeah. would be huge. And I feel like with those guys back there, man, we're, we got a great shot at slowing down their wide receivers and forcing Jaden mm -hmm. Daniels to make a decision to be risky – or to continue to be complacent and stingy, you know he they have yet to stretch the field. So we'll see what they do tomorrow. Um, I'm really excited to see what they end up doing. 
Yeah, dude, me too. This is a super random question. I had a buddy of mine text me. He said, man, listen, listen to the podcast. He said, question for y'all. I was like, all right. So okay, what's up? I, I answered it back, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what you say. Yeah. He said, okay, Hendon Hooker, take the T off his helmet and replace it with an Ohio, Ohio State or somebody like that. How high is he in the Heisman race? Number one. <laughs> that's what I said. I mean, I know it's still early in the year, but that's a valid point. You take number the T off the helmet and put him on like an Ohio State or somebody like that. He's got a number one on his on his name. Yep. Simply because, dude, I just haven't. I just have never realized, bro, how much the media hates Tennessee. Dude, it's like I was I was watching a Paul Feinbaum thing today, and I can't think of the dude he called the interview talking about Tennessee. And the dude was like, well, you, usually you call me when you want somebody to make fun of Tennessee. And it's just like, I mean, Paul, Paul Feinbaum, man, I don't know why he hates Tennessee so bad. Graduated I mean, he gra- from he the university. He graduated from here, bro. I mean, Stupid. He just, but – I mean, they said it. it's like, man, I really can't talk trash about Tennessee anymore because, you know, they're playing some good football right now. So the media is always against Tennessee. It doesn't always. matter. They're don't always matter. going to be, I feel like. Announcers, everything. Yeah. I wish I wish Peyton Manning would do a daggum cast like he does on Monday nights. <laughs> <laughs> I'd listen man. to it before I listen to announcers. I would too, especially next week. That's why I'm thankful we're going to the game. I yeah, can't listen golly. to dude after listening to Gary Danielson, like on that replay. Oh, dude, yeah. I was like, this dude is a joke. This yeah. guy's a is a complete joke. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, excuse me. I think if Hendon was in any other jersey, um. Other than a Tennessee power T, bro, he beat number one in the Heisman race. I mean, his numbers are just out of this world. Yeah. The impact he's making on the team is out of this world. Like, he's just on a different level. And um, I hope that play continues tomorrow, man, because we're going to need it. We're going to need every ounce of it down there for sure. Yeah, 100%. Um, Man, I think, too – um, I know they keep saying Cedric Tillman. We we'll find out later on today. I don't, think he, I don't think he plays. I don't. I don't think Ced needs to play, man. Like Mm-mm. it makes me nervous to even if I saw if I see. Hey, I'm cool seeing him out there warm up. Go mm-hmm. through warm ups, man. Like yeah, get the feel back, you know. But I do. I do not want to see him out there the first play. No, I don't either. Not at all. Give me Ramel. Give me mail. I mean, gosh, give some guys some reps, man. Walker Merrill, Jimmy Holiday. I mean, we've seen we've seen it. I mean, they're this coaching staff is pretty pretty well set on the receivers, man. They have, I mean, they get that they get those three or four guys, and they're locked in. They're set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I think we got a talented group back there. And it's like I told you, bro, it's just weird, man. Like, can we just all sit in something for a second? I'm I'm going on a ruck rant. Hold on. Let me let me just let me go on this rant. Can we all just recognize something really fast? 20 months ago, everybody that wears this right here, fan, friend, player. You felt like you were on the bottom of your f- own foot. Like your your mentality about football, you didn't care. Your your mentality, even I'm gonna go to the extent to say about life, you didn't care. <laughs> and now, 20 months later, we got a quarterback that's currently fourth in the Heisman Trophy race. We currently have an offense that is number one in the country, folks, at 556.9 yards a game. We've got wide receivers who just are playing out of their minds. We got a head coach that we thought, or let me say, not we, that the media thought, oh, he's just an offensive mind. I mean, Tennessee is going to have a good quote. Good offense. 
but he can't recruit, so it, it won't be substantial. We're in the top 10 in recruiting, folks. <laughs> Should be top five before this whole thing is said and done. You pull in your first five-star quarterback in, I don't know, ever? In Nico Ima Aliava. He's on the way, people. Don't forget about Mr. Nico. He's on his way. And then let me just remind you of something. Your, your star quarterback was a backup about 12 months ago. Now he's playing the best football, not only of his life, but of his career. And he is moving and pushing this Tennessee program to do things that we never thought. Tennessee fans, all of you talking about, oh, I knew this was going to happen. The same people that's saying that we're going 10 and 2 was the same people saying, why did we hire Josh Heupel? <laughs> right. Get it together, Tennessee fans. We're, we are on a different level right now, and it's okay to feel weird about it because I feel weird about it. You can ask anybody that I know. I have ride, I have I'm a ride or die Tennessee fan. I was with Tennessee through the struggle. I've been through to Tennessee through the high times. And this is the highest time it's been since I can remember. Enjoy it. Enjoy this, y'all. We don't get this a lot, but I think we're going to start getting it a lot because the culture <laughs> has changed the the aura around Knoxville, bro. When I drive to Knoxville now, Next Saturday, next Friday, when I drive to Knoxville, bro, I just, I just, I'm giddy. Like, I feel like, I'm, I feel like I'm going to play. I didn't used to feel like that, bro. I would just go to the games and be like, uh, yeah, I'm going to the game. Why you ain't watching at home? I don't know. I should, because we're going to lose. Yeah. But now I'm like, dude, I think we can, we at least can, nah, I think we can win every game we play. Yeah. Yeah, and a big a thing a thing too with me like you know you were talking about like Josh Hopkins. I'm done. You know, I'm done. He, I'm done with my rant. I love y'all. I'm done. <laughs> he's he's just. I mean, he can't recruit. You know, and whatever, whatever. And you know, like you said, he's an offensive mind. And you heard people going into this season like, man, you know, big big games like Florida and all like Pitt. Like this offense is easy to figure out. They'll have it figured out and they ain't going to be nowhere near as good as they were last year. Cause they seen it last year and they'll, they'll figure it out. Number one in the country. Number uno. Number one. We different. Like, you know, I think, I think, and even I'm going to speak to Tennessee fans a little bit talking to myself as a Tennessee fan. I don't care who you are. You want to find something negative about Tennessee. You do. You do. Like like Ruck you said, do. hey, and I'm talking to myself here, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Just live in this time. Like, like okay, we are good. Like, it's okay to say, hey, we are good, not, I don't know, like, you know, the defense. Da, 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 da. Exactly. You can, you can always find something to pick at, but we're 4-0. 4-0. Heading to Baton Rouge tomorrow. I guess the boys already there, though. I mean, <laughs> them Smokies. Hey, you. I wish I could pull a picture up on here. Did you? I know. I know you seen they were practicing in them Smoky Grace. I did. I did. I can't Man. lie to you. I know you see the mountains. You see. You see the mountains. The mountains engraved. <laughs> I said, "Oh, that's the one that's right there behind." Uh. uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if I'm just playing. Dude, them things are. It's, and, dude, I don't know if you've even noticed this, bro. The detail in the face mask is Ooh. crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, it's got this, like, chrome something. Like, I can't even explain it, really. Like, mm. it has this, like, not chrome. I shouldn't say chrome. But it's got, like, this speckled... Um, Oh, what is it? Like it's dude, it's, it's nasty, bro. It's nasty. That's all I can yeah. say. It's nasty. It's just, I mean, bro, hold on. I, I gotta I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Please look at this, bro. Whew. Goodness gracious. You see that thing? <laughs> oh, there, there it is, bro. Mm. I mean, 
Come on, man. You see that little speckle that I'm telling you about? <laughs> ah, bro. I mean, look mm. at the. Spe- you see it now. You see the speckle. Yeah. <laughs> look at them mountains, bro. Quit playing, bro. That's insane, bro. I'm about to buy one. <laughs> 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 oh shoot boy well man look bro <sighs> we're gonna wrap this one more day episode up man i i don't want to but the more i talk about it the more i i'm just no i'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight like i'm just gonna be up. yeah and bro there's a couple things though there's one video i gotta show but okay. before i show this video is your score changing are your playmakers changing? Anything that you said earlier in the week, is it changing? Mm-mm. Nope. I'm going to say 38-21. And you still saying the linebackers? Linebackers are big. Linebackers. linebackers and, and, uh, and Mr. Hyatt. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm still sticking 41, but I'm going to change. I'm going to change. Okay. I'm going. I'm going 41 24. Okay. Tennessee. Sure. Tennessee. Okay. I'm going to give them another touchdown. Yeah. But we cover and take the over, take the under. I don't think we score 60. I think 67. I don't think yeah. LSU is going to score enough. Um, but, um, yeah, bro. I, the stage is set again, folks. <laughs> Tennessee has another opportunity before the Alabama Crimson Tide come into town. But, I mean, y'all, listen. If this right here, what I'm about to show you, don't get you hype. Just watch this. You guys continue to fight no matter what the circumstances were. And if we continue to do that, we got a chance to be great, guys. That's a big-time win from, against a really good opponent, guys. You guys stand tall, you took every punch, and you freaking gave it right back to them in space. It's a really good football team. be a great environment. It's always tough to win on the road inside of this league, and, and uh, this is our next opportunity. You stuck frozen while I stay in motion. I'ma pass you up while you stop and smell the roses. Pure devotion, you just dip your toes in. Leave you in the past. I was built for the moment. Look, unfazed. Top game, fourth quarter, all gas, no breaks. Keep going. Can't change me. Two, three, two, focus. If it didn't break me, it only made me. It's a blessing. Uh, anytime you get to strap on the cleats and put on the pads on any given Saturday, it's a blessing. Keep doing that on this freaking journey. All the little things are going to add up. We're good enough every freaking week. Everybody got it? Hell yeah. You know, we're just ready to play. We're ready to go down there and, and you know, play Tennessee football. Bro. All right, y'all boys up. I don't know what is, bro. Tennessee. Gets to go and face the LSU Tigers in Baton Rouge tomorrow. Turner, bro, any last thoughts, my dude? Bro, just watching that video, I'm up. I'm ready. Hey, Jane Daniels don't know what's coming. He don't know. He don't. He don't know. Hey, y'all. He don't know. We'll be, hey, listen, y'all. It's here, man. Tennessee, LSU. Hey, tomorrow after the game be ready man we're gonna do our next day episode uh we may even hop on and do the episode tomorrow night and post it like just i say the next day but it might be moments after who knows man it's an early game so we'll figure this thing out together but y'all let's go man it's time tennessee lsu hey thank you for watching this episode man like subscribe comment follow us on instagram at straight up tennessee and you know what it is baby it's straight up tennessee we out